House prices are one thing, but the holy grail of recovery in most countries remains employment. France has managed to reduce the number of its people that are out of work, and something that may have helped a little bit is something that the U.S. and Britain are very familiar with. France has taken on the Anglo-Saxon model of self-employment and found it an engaging idea. Caroline Conan reports now from Paris. Yes, I proposed to Kate last night. Wow. <laughs> Tom Cruise thought the Eiffel Tower was the perfect spot to pop the question. A lot of people do. That's why Emmanuel Brunet always dreamed of starting a business that would take couples on romantic tours of Paris and help them propose at the iconic landmark. Paris is, I think, the most wonderful city in the world. Last year, his dream came true, thanks to France's newly created status of self-employed. The self-employed status helped me to, to, to build my company because I can work at home. I have no charge to pay to start my, my, this company. And uh, it's very easy. You just have to register online. Like Brunet, more than 300,000 French workers registered as self-employed last year, representing over half of the country's new companies. The status spares them France's high business tax, VAT and social security charges while they get on their feet. The government hopes the new system will curb rising unemployment and help revive the French economy. For the three first trimesters, for the first three quarters of last year, they've generated 500 million euros for the economy. I think we'll achieve our goal of 1 billion a year. Some economists are skeptical. It's still a very fragile market. It hasn't created real companies yet that can hire people and generate growth. So it's a good opportunity for some people, but not a solution to the recession. It's been the opportunity of a lifetime for Emmanuel Brunet, who finally has his dream job, creating magical moments in the city of love. Caroline Conan, Bloomberg News, Paris.